we are going to cover section views in Autodesk Inventor. So supposedly I created this outline for my wheel and I wanted to create a spoke for this. So if I go to my origin plane and click on that and create a new sketch, the problem that poses is I can't actually see where my sketch is gonna be on that plane just due to the fact that you can see the entire rim. So I'm gonna put that back the way it was and what we're gonna do is revert to section view. So I can find section view if I go under view and then what I want to do is I actually want to turn on half section view. So as soon as I do half section view and then go back to that original plane that I was using and click on that, you can see now I have a nice cutout or slice of exactly what it is I want to actually look at. So let me go ahead and click OK on that. OK, so let's go back to our origin plane again. And then in doing so, let's create a sketch for a spoke so we can actually see what we're doing in this particular case. Okay, so now I can actually create that spoke. So I'll take maybe my arc tool and from roughly the center, I'm going to go ahead and create that. I'll take a line tool to close that off because it won't extrude properly otherwise. And let's go ahead and finish off the sketch. Okay, so now I'm ready to perhaps create another plane and then do a loft or do an extrude off this. Biggest problem though is if I try to reset this or put this back and then save the file, I'm going to run into some problems. So let me go ahead to half section view to end section view and you can see there it is. And then there's my created uh, sketch that I can work with. And like I said, I can use a loft on a different plane coming up over here to finish off the spoke. Um, but when I try to save the file, you might get an error message. And if it doesn't save properly and you get an error message, the thing that you need to do is you need to go over to the view here and hit that plus sign. And then if you see a little check mark beside the master, what you have to do is right click and then click on new to reset it. And then it will save properly. Now for Autodesk Inventor 2021, this is not a problem. However, earlier versions such as Autodesk Inventor 2020, this probably or likely is a problem. So I hope that helps. Go ahead and finish off your wheel.